Hello, this is IPSer. Welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. So this time, let's go over the secret passage. Fight this duck. Yeah, we have a bit more stuff to do today. What part do you play in all this? Um, they play the enemies, Frederick. Huh. So yeah, um, yeah, I kind of wasted his turn just now <laughs> trying to decide what to do. Yeah, and here, let me turn that down. Jeez, hold on. 44% my butt. I can't put up with that. Ah! I hate using a trackpad. I love this new laptop. But trackpads are horrible. There we go. That should be better. Alright, so. Kill them, Frederick! Okay, I got in a shadow. That's good. Go back. Back into a nebulous dream. Yeah, he makes the world's best sayings. Anyway, let's get in here and get a... A copper nickel. Nickel. I'm not going to equip that to anybody yet. I'm going to save that for Algretto and B. Yeah. Because we'll be playing as them next. So let's keep going. Fight this duck. How pitiful. You soulless creatures. <laughs> I love that. Alright. Getting some damage in. Pew Grave! Pew Grave! Alright, go on, Polka. Um, what am I gonna- Ah! Huh! <laughs> Excellent tilt to the analog stick there. Wow, I didn't get to do the thing. That's what you do when you don't know where the enemy's at. Wow, well, that was fun. Huh. Anyway, we get a level on Polka. Even at level 5, I do believe. Yep, she does nothing. She does learn nothing. Alright, so let's keep going. Um, go this way first, I think. Yeah, there's no treasure over here. There's just a duck. So let's take him out. Nah, it's our last duck, I think. I'll do my best. You better do your best. Alright, so... I hope we can get a shade comment in on both of them. Let's see. Yes, alright. Um, let's use... Let's take this guy out. Ah, dang it. I hate it when that happens. Alright, so let's try to block his attacks. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be able to guard every enemy attack in the game, because I suck at that. So, I'll be healing a lot in this game. Yeah. Alright, so we got him. Um, so, let me double check myself, make sure there's no hidden treasures over here. No, 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 okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, skip that save point. Already saved. Some of y'all may be wondering why I keep skipping save points. I saved before video. Yeah. Find it more professional. What the heck is that thing? It's giving me the freaky eye. Whoa. Do you know it, Frederick? Holy cow. Boss time against this I random bull thingy, I guess. They don't really oh, give no. name, names, names to him. So I'm going to have Polka act as a healer during this battle since Frederick can do more damage with his attack combos and Pew Gravy. Pew Grave. I'll start calling it Grave for you viewers. Um, okay. Okay, this guy is really hard. Uh, cr why did I even? Oh my god. My thumb just, like, twitched there. Okay, you need to get Frederick back on his feet. Polka, now. Shade now, when you're done with that, you can back up into the shade and just spam shade on it. Yeah. Alright. Oh, no. He's coming for us now. Alright, so let's get in the shade. We always want him in the shade so he doesn't use sacred signature. We don't use Pew Grave like we want him to. Alright, um, Polka, use, well, I guess I can have her attack for a little while. Yeah. Oh, I got that one. Crap. Almost perfect. We only have one more floral powder. I think I might use it on Polka. Yeah, she's kind of down. So let's go into the lot kind of far away. 
Yeah. She's pretty much gonna have the same strategy as Beat had in the one boss, the bread gang back at Retrodondo. Yeah, stay back. Oh, crap. One thing I forgot. Every time you back up with Polka, you're gonna want to face the enemy so you can guard him. You always want to be facing the enemy. Yes. It's just you don't want them to be facing you. Alright. And it doesn't tell you this, but when this um, thing's at zero, you can finish your combo move. And if you push triangle um, fast enough, you can get in uh, that um, special move. Yeah, I almost said wah. Huh. It's not an Xbox. Don't shit on me. Come on, Pew Grave. Got almost had him. Bosses last somewhat too long in this game sometimes, viewers. That's just one thing you're gonna have to overlook. Yeah. Shake Comet! Holy cow, we knocked him over! Yeah. Knocking over doesn't do nothing but delay their turn. Ow! Arr. Yeah, on this guy, you can even face his side. You just don't want to be facing his head. Yeah. Okay, we almost got him. He's kneeled down now. Um, so, we're going to want to get in the light. Face him. Heal up Frederick. We get one more in. Yeah, unfortunately. So, try to guard. Ah, man. I cannot ever guard that. That's his worst move, too. Alright, so Frederick, get over there and kill him. Hopefully, we can get him this turn. If we can, great. If we can't, oh well. God dang it. Gonna have to orange glow me. Um, back up a little bit. Use some shade comments. Come on. Ha. Ow. Alright, get behind him. Come on, Frederick. Yes, alright, we got it. Alright, forget we get a bamboo shaft. I think it's a new weapon for Frederick there. New, um, well, Katon, I guess you can call that. Like a mu I don't know how that can even be used for a. And we get a party level up. IPS or. What? Alright. So, pretty much what this is, it just. You can go up to party level 6, and it just gets harder every time. Remember how before you could move around and stop, and the time gauge will stop? Yeah, the time gauge is infinite until you move. If you move one step, the time gauge will keep going down. That's pretty much all that's changed. Yeah, so like, before, sitting there, move, goes down a second, stop, it freezes. But now, you move, it goes down a second, you stop, and it keeps going down. Yeah, so you're going to have to be a little more careful. Like, it gets much more intense later in the game, where... It just starts automatically right on your turn. Yeah. So that's like the last level, so you don't have to worry. I guess it's kind of dangerous out here when it's late at night. The animals in the forest never used to be this aggressive before. That's very unlike. Like, I don't way, believe that. You never told me if I'd answered your question correctly. You got an F, Frederick. What? Of course. This is all just a story in my mind. So I'm sure there's no way I could possibly be wrong. Or is there? Cocky. Come on, it's almost time. We have to hurry. We're gonna make it, Frederick. Where exactly are we going? These flowers are what I wanted to show you. Flowers. Flowers. My my words exactly, Frederick. <laughs> Just watch. They're about to blossom. I hate that Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> Blossom at night? Yeah, I love these graphics and this music. It's just amazing. Yeah. Look at this. Holy cow. Yeah, I think I'm going to be quiet while this scene's going on. I love it. So hold on. Just listen. Heaven's mirror. 
They're like a reflection of the starry sky on the meadows. This is the only place they bloom in the forest. These flowers never bloom during the day, only at night. When the sun is up, they stay in their buds, but they're able to absorb sunlight with their leaves. And after night falls, they let out all the light they've stored when they blossom. It always happens at exactly two o'clock in the morning. They're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. It truly is a wondrous sight. But they're also called death lights. Death lights? The sun brings life, but the dark brings death. And these flowers bloom in darkness. So, darkness is evil, light is good. Whether you want to call them Heaven's Mirror or Death Lights, that's up to you, Frederick. But it seems like, these days, nearly everyone is taken to calling them Death Lights. Long ago, it was thought they looked like the light that guided people to death, since they blossom the opposite of regular flowers. Even now, a lot of people don't like these flowers. To many, they're still considered a bad omen. That's also how they think of me. <sighs> Frederick, you said before that this whole world is all just a dream you're having. Right? But if you're in your own dream, how can you be so completely positive that what's happening is only a dream? And if what you're experiencing in the dream is so realistic to you, how can you even tell what's actually the real world? And to prove my point, you didn't read my mind earlier. <coughs> you were wrong. I was thinking about leaving Tenuto. I want to go out into the world and live my own life. Even if that life only exists inside your dream. I don't know how much time I have left to live. But I want to live what's left of my life in a positive way. Bringing happiness to others. I just want to help people somehow. Like these flowers, even though people call them death lights, they still blossom and struggle to live on. You're going to leave the village? But where do you intend to go after you leave Tenuto? I'll go to Forte Castle. And then I'm going to meet with the Count, to ask about the taxes on floral powder. Because right now, they're hurting everyone in the village. You know, you should be happy you couldn't read my mind. Since you can't use magic, it means you don't have an incurable illness. <sighs> Please, stay at my house tonight. I'll tell my mom you're coming. You're a guest in our dream world, after all. That's not something that happens every day. <laughs> a flower that resembles you. Bad omen. Death lights. Hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> this one must be my favorite scene in the game. Absolutely love it. And now we're back at Returdondo! I love this place. It's so beautiful. Let's see what's going on with Red, um, Red O and Beat. How are their adventures going? Wow, Red O. This is the first time I'm going outside Red Ardondo. Whoa, really? It's not like we're going on a picnic, Beat. Don't get so excited. Yeah. yeah. I know that, Reddle. 
We're going to help Red Ardondo's poor by getting the leaders to lower taxes on stuff besides the mineral powder, right? Well, I hope that better be right. Everyone can afford blankets and cheese and all the honey-covered bread they could ever possibly want. Then everyone can finally yeah, be happy. Yeah, sounds like a good world. And that's exactly right. Hey, I'm proud of you, B. We can't solve things by just stealing bread. Yeah. We have to uncover Forget the about. root of the problem. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going anyway? <laughs> you mean you don't know? Jeez, I take back what I just said. Do you? We're heading to Forte Castle to talk to the guys in charge. Come on, let's go. Yeah, get about it. Wait up. Will he wait up? Will they really make it to Forte Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata. IPSer, signing out. Bye.